Hey guys, Justin here with Movo. We're gonna be taking a look at the WMIC 80, which is a UHF dual channel wireless microphone system. We'll be taking a look inside the box, get some hands-on time with it, and then we'll do a comparison between the WMIC 80, my Canon 70D onboard microphone, and what you guys are listening to me on right now. Let's check out what comes with the system. Um, on the back of the box, you can see everything that's included as well as the features. Inside the box, we have the case that comes with the system. All right, we have the manual. The manual is gonna have everything we need in here about setting up and using the system. Um, we also have the happy, not happy card, which comes with almost everything Movo sends out, lets you know what to do if you wanna shout out, or if you have any concerns about the product that you just got. The system is ready to use out of the box, so we shouldn't really need to dig into this too much, but we'll keep it close by just in case. We have two identical transmitters, the receiver, two omnidirectional lavalier mics. We have the stereo 3.5 millimeter cable, an XLR output cable, and inside the bag we have our two windscreens, two clips, and a shoe mount adapter that you can use to mount the receiver on top of your camera. Here we have one of the transmitters. Both of these are gonna be identical. On the top we have the antenna, a line in, microphone in, the power slash mute button. Then we also have some controls down here that will control our volume as well as our frequency. On the side, there's a compartment that you can pull out and you can put your AA batteries in there. It's gonna take two of these per transmitter. Slide that back in. On the back, we have a belt clip or for your pocket. Um, we also have a place where you can mount it if you wanna do that as well. And here we have the receiver, which will receive input from both of the two microphones. Up top, you have the headphone jack as well as the line out jack. We also have a couple buttons up here which will control things like volume and your menu options. On the side, we have another compartment for AA batteries. You have your on off switch as well. On the back, we have a place that you can hook up your shoe mount adapter and then plug it into your camera. Or you can use this to connect it to just about anything that you have on your rig. Now let's hook up the lavalier mics that come with the system. You have a little indicator right there that looks like a microphone. You're just gonna push it down in there, twist to make sure it's secure, and now it's not gonna pull out when it's in your pocket when you're moving around. Next up, we just need to put our windscreen and clips on the microphone. Batteries are all in and the mics are plugged in. We just need to power everything on, make sure that we're on the right channel and we should be good to go. When we power on the receiver here, it's gonna pop up and let us know what channel we're on and our battery life. The middle button here, it says set. That's gonna to toggle us through our channel as well as our volume and switching between stereo and mono. We'll just leave all the settings how they come preset and we'll, we'll be just fine. Here we have our transmitter. In order to power this on, we're just gonna press and hold the power button on the top. As with the receiver, when you power it on, it lets you know your channel as well as your battery life. The set button in the middle will just toggle between what channel you wanna put it on as well as your volume. Those are the only two settings you really need to mess with on here. Um, up top, you might also wanna mute and unmute the microphone. Once the transmitters and the receiver are set to the same channels, you're gonna see these LED lights pop up right under the antennas. Now that we're getting signal to the receiver from both of the microphones, we just need to decide how do we wanna take the audio from here to our camera or to our audio recorder? And we have a couple options right out of the box. We can use the XLR cable, which you would just plug into the line out, screw it down just like we did with the microphone. And then you can plug this into your soundboard. If you have a handheld recorder or another recording device that has XLR inputs, you can also plug that in there. We can also use our stereo 3.5 millimeter plug, which I'm gonna use right now. Just plug it in the top screw it down so it can't pop out. And then this can either be plugged directly into the camera or into an external recording device, a handheld recorder, like I'm gonna do right now with a Zoom H5. If you're in a small room, it might not matter if you have a wired mic or a wireless microphone, but sometimes you want more freedom and you don't want this wire dragging around you everywhere you go. You can just take your WMIC 80, put it in your back pocket and you're good to go. Uh, this will also get you up to about 100 meters, which is a pretty good distance. If you have any trees or walls in the way, it'll shorten that distance a little bit. 
but without any obstacles, you're looking at 100 meters uh, range for this. You're still listening to me on the LV4-02 XLR mic, but I'm also wearing the omnidirectional mic that's plugged into the WMIC80 system, and we'll compare that to my onboard Canon 70D microphone. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Honestly, I have no idea if woodchucks even chuck wood, but hopefully you guys have a better idea of what the mic sounds like and the difference between the onboard mic and having a lav mic that's either hooked up with an XLR or a wireless mic. Movo loves hearing from you guys, so if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.